I have been digging into some old Atlanta newspaper archives lately, and I have discovered some history related to Oakland Cemetery you have probably never heard. Stay tuned to the end. The last one is particularly interesting. So here are some secrets of Atlanta's Oakland Cemetery. Dr. James Nissen was a prominent Atlanta doctor. However, he had a horrible phobia of being buried alive. He feared this so much that he requested that his family have his jugular vein cut out after his death in order to make sure he was dead. He died in the fall of 1850 and was the first burial in what was then a vacant wooded area over a mile outside Atlanta city limits. Singer Kenny Rogers died on March 20th, 2022 at 81 years old. More than one year after his death, he was buried in an elaborate above ground tomb at Oakland. Since the last burial plot was sold in 1884, his family had to purchase the plot from the descendants of the original deed holder to that plot. He is buried near golfer Bobby Jones and the Confederate burial ground. You might have already known that Atlanta was originally named Marthasville after the then governor's daughter, Martha Lumpkin. But in 1907, an article claimed her middle name was Atalanta, thus claiming Atlanta was named for her twice. I don't believe this, however. I think Atalanta became a nickname for Martha in later years. Most sources say that Atlanta was named for the Western and Atlantic Railroad. We do know that the city purchased Martha's burial plot in Oakland 10 years before her death in 1917. By the way, Atalanta was a Greek goddess and her name meant secure and immovable. Jasper Newton Smith was born in 1833 in Walton County, Georgia. His building stood on Peachtree Street, where the Peachtree Marta Station is today. He covered his building in marble slabs, quoting Bible text and other things he felt relevant. One said this is the house that Jack built. Jack built his mausoleum 25 years before his death. He would visit it often. He predicted the hour of his death and was only off by 15 minutes. There are 27 former mayors buried here, including Atlanta's first mayor, Moses Formwalt, buried here in 1852. Our first African-American mayor, Maynard Jackson, holds a prominent spot just inside the main gate. Another former mayor, Sam Massell, hasn't passed away yet, but his grave site, including marker, is already installed. His future grave site is near the Memorial Drive entrance, not far from golfer Bobby Jones.
On June 7, 1862, on the southern border of the cemetery, there was an execution. Eight members of Andrews Raiders were hanged for participating in the capture of the locomotive general near Kennesaw, Georgia, on April 12, 1862. This was made famous in the movie The Great Locomotive Chase. A young man of 20 years named David LaRoe was arrested for breaking into a store on Edgewood Avenue. While being searched, it was discovered he had in his possession a book with a curious notation in it. The notation read, Oakland Cemetery, center driveway from Fair Street, walk to First Cross Drive, go down sidewalk, until you're opposite two large trees standing together. There you will find one of the tile stones marked with a knife. It is not under the marked one, neither the one above nor the one below it. These words were supposedly written in the book by a World War I soldier killed in France. Apparently the cemetery had already been alerted to the fact that the notation had been found very mysteriously falling into the hands of the cemetery. And they got the word out quickly to the Atlanta Constitution that, quote, no booty has been hidden inside the confines of Oakland Cemetery. Was there a buried treasure? A hundred years later, it's still a mystery. Feeling so small